Students, there are basically two broad systems on the basis of which the transactions are recorded in the books of accounts. Let us discuss and learn about these two systems. These two systems are double entry system and single entry system. Obviously, the mode of operation is actually clear from the name itself. Double entry system means a system in which dual aspect of a transaction is recorded. That is, both the aspects are recorded. We had discussed it earlier that whenever a transaction takes place, there is an increase and a corresponding decrease. So, in this system, both the aspects are recorded. Whereas, in single entry system, only one aspect is recorded. Now, I would like to clarify here that double entry system is uniform. That is, the rules are very clear and are applied uniformly. But in single entry system, it is not a uniform system. So, in some cases, you will record only one aspect and in some cases, both the aspects are recorded. Since there is no uniformity, so it is quite possible some discretion at the part of accountant is there. Then, in case of double entry system, all the accounts, whether the personal, real or nominal, they are recorded in the books of accounts. Whereas, in case of single entry system, it is usually the personal account and the cash account that are maintained. Now again, I, mean, I have used the word usually. Since there is no uniformity, some accountants might use or might prepare some nominal accounts as well. Then, this system, that is double entry system, is a legally accepted system. By law, every business is required to maintain its accounts in double entry system. Whereas, this single entry system is not a legally accepted system. Let us discuss about the suitability also. This double entry system is suitable to all kinds of business. Suitable for all. As it is a well-defined system, has well-defined principles which are universally acceptable and valid. So, it is suitable for every kind of business. But this system is suitable or rather we should say is used by only the small businessmen, small businesses. As this system has no uh, legal acceptability as well as no complete information is transmitted, it is only the small businessmen, small shopkeepers, petty traders who use this kind of system.